Let's take a minute right now and talk about electricity. It can either be your best friend or your worst enemy when it comes to technology. Today we're going to show you a few devices from a company called Xantrex, and it's not a pharmaceutical, it's actually a company that builds things around technology devices. They actually power those solar panels for houses and even do the big windmills that you might see down in California that collect the power. They make a bunch of business and consumer products as well, we're going to show you a few of them. Well, I think it's important. Everything we have now takes electricity, like the laptops and the iPods. And if you're out on the road, uh, for example, camping, uh, or even uh, just uh, in an emergency situation, it's kind of cool to have one of these uh, extra batteries kicking around. And the one, first one we want to show you is one that you would actually keep for emergency situations. So this is something that you're going to leave in the trunk or the back of your car. It's basically the X Power series and it's called the Emergency 400. It has a few things built into it. First of all, it's a huge battery that's built in here, right? So this thing is heavy, so you don't want to have to pack it around like on a hiking trip or something like that. But with that all, all that weight, you do get a lot of features with it. First of all, Let's talk about the power. It has the ability to run two 120 volt devices straight out of this unit. So if you are in a camping or emergency or even an outside situation like a work site or something like that, you can plug in a laptop, you can plug in a computer system, you actually can run those right off this battery system. Even lights? Even lights as well, actually that's a good point. And then you also have the, the 12 volt or the what you regularly see like in a car adapter. Um, this has the ability to power things like cell phone chargers and I think we have one here got your phone plugged into that. It's kind of handy because it's actually dead. It's kind of dead, so we'll <laughs> charge it while we're going through this. So you, actually, you just plug this straight in here, make sure your power's on, and now you have the ability to charge that. But what I liked about the emergency unit, it had a few more things built into it as well. It actually has the ability to jump a vehicle. It has, it has jumper cables built right into it. So simply pull this out of the back of your car when your battery's dead, and, and connect this to your battery and simply start your car. It's that simple to do and I thought that was really unique. Well this is something that you'd almost want in your car trunk yeah. at, at all times, yeah. especially when you're camping. I remember last year when I went camping, my van battery dead. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's kind of hard to go around and ask all these other campers to jump start uh, your car, but actually a guy had one of these uh, types of devices and he jumped it just like that. Oh beautiful. Well the other thing that it has built into it is the ability to pump air which I thought was really unique because it's something that you would think about in an emergency situation if you're if you've got a flat tire on the side of the road and you can you can manage to patch that or if you have like an air fill you can simply it put enough air in to get you to the next gas station to help you out. But again, in a camping situation, fill up an air mattress or something like that. The unit has 340 watt sustained power and can burst up to 640, so it's a pretty powerful unit. And let me just show you kind of... Yeah, hard that's, to, that's for the air compressor. Hard to hear us talk over that, but that's the air compressor running, meaning that this battery can actually power an air compressor engine and, and blow up all these different devices. You forgot there's a flashlight on it. Oh yeah, I forgot about the flashlight. That's probably the thing I didn't like the most about it. It's great to have a flashlight in an emergency situation. Maybe you want to see where you're attaching this device to a flat tire or jumping a car. This one wasn't bright enough for me. I'd like to see them inc uh, improve on that part of it, but overall it is smart to put in the light. This is uh, another one they have, and they've got a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, this is part of their X Power series as well. It's their uh, Power Pack Sound 400. And uh, essentially, it'll give you uh, 400 watts of burst power and 320 watts of uh, sustained power. And uh, you can plug in all sorts of devices as well. It's got the two outlets here for 115 uh, volt uh, appliances, lights, iPods, uh, anything you can imagine there. And uh, it's also got the DC uh, power adapter here, so you can plug in things uh, like the cigarette lighter adapter that uh, a lot of devices might have. What makes this one unique is that not only can you charge things up and power them, you can also play your music. It's kind of like a, a battery boombox, yeah. <laughs> a super battery boombox. I've got the built-in speakers here, and you can see I've got my iPod plugged in. You can plug in any uh, digital music player. It's uh, simply one of these... Uh, uh, you know, uh, stereo phone jacks that you can plug into the top. Yeah. It also has a USB connector, so if you've got a phone that charges by USB connector, or like an iPod does as well, you can plug it in here and charge it. From my understanding, uh, it takes about two, two and a half hours to charge up something like a, an iPod or a Blackberry. And uh, other types of things, uh, for example, in an emergency situation in your home to uh, power your uh, home alarm or a cordless phone, uh, that's about 13 hours of time you get out of it. And as far as laptops, and you know, you might take something like that camping or in an emergency situation, you want to boot something up, you get about three hours 
I mean, you can plug in really high power devices like drills and stuff, but then you're talking about 10, 15 minutes out of it. Uh, overall, I would say probably the speaker system. It's great to have that in an outdoor environment and be able to listen to the music and things like that. I would say that it's not the same as bringing a full-fledged boombox out with you if you want to get rich sound, but I did like the uh, the sound that came out of it. And yeah, I think you're, not, you're not going to carry this on your <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> with the weight, of the weight of the battery. But seriously, there. you know, if you're camping, you know, the one thing I found with my iPod when I was camping, the battery goes and what do you do? Yeah. Right? So this thing here will keep the battery going for hours and hours. So, I mean, it's great to have around the campsite uh, or, you know, if you're close to the beach, you can take this down as well. Yeah, the company is called Xantrax. They also, uh, other companies that make these devices are like Black & Decker. You'll find them in most like Canadian style. Canadian Tire or sporting goods stores. It's definitely something we're checking out and definitely good to have for emergency situations.